Hello guys, welcome back. I remain Awolesi Gideon and this is the Crypto Watch. Thank you guys for joining me today. If you're new here, do not forget to like, comment, subscribe and turn on notifications for my next videos. This is the season and uh, there's a reason for the season. It's Christmas. This week, uh, we're going to have Christmas, I think on Saturday, yes. And uh, the markets are following suit. Red Christmas Day, red on the markets everywhere is just red. It's crazy, it's crazy. Today we're going to be talking about how to create your very first phantom wallet. Phantom wallet is a uh, it's an extension that you use uh, to access the Solana blockchain. Uh, it basically works like MetaMask. That is, you can just uh, add the extension to your Chrome web browser and then connect it to the Solana blockchain to interact with DApps and every other uh, decentralized applications on the Solana blockchain. It's pretty easy, it's pretty straightforward. So I'm going to put you guys through on how you can create your very first phantom wallet, how to interact with your very first DAP and how you can use it to store your Solana coins. Okay, here we are. Um, this is my browser. We're going to uh, attempt to uh, install the uh, phantom wallets on the Chrome browser to connect to the Solanium blockchain. So the first thing we're going to do is to search for Phantom Wallet Chrome extension. Oh, we're supposed to use a uh, Google Play. Let me switch this to google.com. So we search for the Phantom Wallet. Chrome extension search automatically it comes out as the uh, the first search result then you click on phantom wallet be sure that you are installing the correct phantom wallet and not a malware on your phone how, how you can know about that is number one you see that it's offered by phantom.app and secondly to you see that it has 1 million plus users this is a way for you to know that yes this is actually the legit app that you're trying to install but sometimes people or uh, some uh, bad actors put up wrong and uh, mm -hmm. suspicious uh, Chrome extensions on the Chrome web store to be able to steal your keys, to be able to steal your phone. So be very careful whenever you're installing the any kind of uh, wallets on your Chrome extension. So I'm adding it to Chrome, add the extension. So once that is done, then we can proceed to set up the phantom extension so straight up it's ready so now if you have uh if you're switching from solet you can just come here use your secret recovery phase and you paste it there and you, you move your wallets from solet down to phantom but for those that are creating a new phantom wallet all you just have to just do is create new wallet copy the code this is it secret recovery phase enough mistake cheese scatter i'm not going to use this wallet for anything so that's the reason why i'm not even blurring it so you just click I save this somewhere and then you put your password. What password should I use? Let me use um so I go to the terms of service and voila your phantom wallet is ready. Your phantom wallet is ready in your on your com store, so it's continue and then you're all done. So now for you to set up the phantom wallet on your Chrome uh your Chrome app. What you're going to do is finish then you if you come here you click on the extension settings and then you see this phantom you click on when you click on it, it turns blue and then it pops up on your chrome uh extension bar so you click on it this way and then you can see every single thing every single uh thing in the wallet this add connect lock wallet then you see the collectibles in case you have nfts and so on you see them here if you want to swap from so to usdt or any other kind of uh, exchange you can do that here and here we have the your recent activities your transactions your history you can see everything here and finally we have the wallet you can add new wallets so you can rename your wallet to uh crypto watch and then your wallet is there voila easy peasy also breezy so display language, you can change the language to a spanner, like so many languages you can change to, and then we have the address book, 
your commonly used addresses, your trusted apps, everything we show you. So let's test out uh, some how to connect to some Solana dApps. So let's search for Solana dApps. Let me change this first. Tell us how to change it first. Let me look for Solana dApps. <clears throat> I'm using a DAP reader because it automatically shows up all the top Solana DAP, so it's easy for me to connect. So I want to use Radium. I'm assuming I want to uh, swap or buy any kind of cryptocurrency from Radium. So the first thing you're going to have to do is to connect your newly acquired Phantom wallet to the Radium platform. So you click on Connect here, and then you click on Phantom. And then your phantom wallet pops up and allows you to connect to the radium platform and voila you are connected okay i think my my laptop is hanging a bit okay yeah that's it you can see wallet connected wallet connected connect phantom everything is connected so you can see the wallet address here so from there you will to see your balance and be able to select the token you want to swap and then your you're done. That's how you can create your phantom wallet and connect it to any decentralized DAP, decentralized application on the Solana blockchain. I hope you guys learned something from this. I hope now you can go there and create your very own, very first uh, phantom wallet and start using the Solana blockchain. Thank you guys for watching this video. Do not forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.